So tomorrow is Valentine's Day 2021, and I'm gonna be real with you. I assume a lot of you are sad, lonely, desperate individuals who are seeking somebody to love them on Valentine's Day. Well, you're in luck because your old pal JT is here to bring you through a Valentine's Day style vlog. That's right, we are gonna be looking at some Valentine's Day outfits some Valentine's Day fashion that I have put together here today. So I, um, I've come up with four different, uh, four different outfits and we're just gonna have fun. And I'm going to talk about the thought process behind putting the outfits together and uh, we'll just enjoy a nice, cozy, loving Valentine's Day together. Uh, listen, I also wanna point out that the, the style in this vlog is not really going to be, it's not like something I would wear on a nice fancy date with a woman. You know, I would probably dress up more than the outfits what I'm showing you here today, right? This is really casual Valentine's Day aesthetic and uh, it's not like I would wear this stuff to a fancy dinner, you know what I mean? So anyways, we're just having fun. Casual Valentine's Day style 2021. Let's get into it, shall we? Okay, so for the first outfit, I went super casual, as you can probably tell. Um, this is not, like I said, this is not something you'd wear out to a restaurant. I'm literally wearing a pair of joggers. Generally speaking, joggers are not fancy restaurant attire, but I actually really like this outfit. This is probably one of my favorites of the video. So I, as I just said, I'm wearing a pair of joggers. They have a really neat, like, heathered look to them. They are black, but they're sort of like a, I don't know, it's really cool. They got like little speckles of gray in them, which is really nice. They have also, this is, so this is, this will show you how genius I am, okay? They have little like silhouette designs of a rose in multiple locations, also on the butt. There you go, bing. I don't even know if you could see it. They're, they're all over the place. I think there is a, I think there's a rose on my butt, but nevertheless, um, it matches the top. So I'm wearing a black long sleeve shirt, as you can see and it has a rose on it, which of course, that's very Valentine's Day themed. And so what I like about this is the rose designs on the joggers are very subtle, but they're there. If they were as bold and obvious as the rose on the shirt, then it would have been too much. Then I would have been like, oh, it's matching too much, that's kind of lame. But because they are subtle, it really works. There's some harmony going on there. I also like how the sleeves have some roses going on there. And of course, my favorite part of the outfit is obviously the shoes. I am rocking a pair of Adidas Stan Smith. These are awesome. These are literally Valentine's Day edition shoes. They released them last year. Some of you might have seen me uh, do a video on them about a year ago. But yeah, these are, these are legitimately one of my favorite pairs of shoes. And by the way, I have noticed that they do not show much wear. I've worn them a lot and the patent leather has not really worn down, which is pretty impressive. So I am in love with these shoes. And you might have noticed also they have like a little, they got like a little heart symbol on the sides of them on the left side, which is very, very neat. Um, so yeah, this is the first outfit. It's one of my favorites, mostly because of the shoes. But uh, yeah, I just like how it's got this like casual laid back, let's go snuggle on the couch kind of a vibe. So for the second outfit, I went for a little bit more of a subtle Valentine's Day look. Um, I guess essentially the Valentine's Day aesthetic here is the fact that I'm wearing a dark red burgundy, actually, plain t-shirt. Just a nice burgundy t-shirt. And then the burgundy from the shirt is brought down to my feet with the Airwalk Gym Plastic sneakers. As you have probably heard me say, I am a gigantic fan of these. They are very vintage and cool. They are from uh, the early to mid 1990s and they obviously have a very high gloss patent leather upper. And so yeah, I just, I really like, you know, got the burgundy in the shirt and then of course got the burgundy in the gym plastic sneaks. And so it's just a cool look. I think this whole style is actually kind of vintage. It's got a nice retro vintage 90s aesthetic. And, um, you know, of course I'm wearing a jean jacket. The cool thing about this jacket, I've had this for many years, it's probably one of my favorites, is that it kind of gives the illusion of it being a jean vest, but it's really not. The sleeves are like a sweatshirt kind of, you know, style, uh, but it's all connected together. So it's just got a cool, you know, 
cool look to it. I really like this. And it's it's not so warm that you get hot in it. So it's kind of like a good, you know, you can wear it indoors without getting too sweaty or whatever. And then for the pants, uh, the pants are just a pair of khaki colored jeans. And by the way, um, I'm gonna do a little bit of flex in here. These pants did not fit me for many years. And now I have lost so much weight and I've gotten so nice and lean that they fall off of my waist basically to where I should probably be wearing a belt. So some good progress. Just gonna do a little bit of bragging there. But yeah, I, I like this. Uh, I like this look for Valentine's Day. Again, it's not like super in your face Valentine's Day, but it's, it's nice and subtle. And I didn't want every outfit to just be like, oh my God, it's bright red. So yeah, I think it's a, I think it's a pretty good look. <laughs> The third outfit is definitely another one of my favorites. I am pretty down with this look. Where do I even begin? So first of all, actually, I think I know where we need to begin. I am wearing a Pink Panther shirt. I think I got this from H&M. It is just a collage of the Pink Panther. In case you don't already know, this is one of my favorite cartoons of all time, like the classic 1960s. Pink Panther cartoon is so cool. This dude right here is just so suave. He's a ladies man. He seems like he's got, you know, this like romantic vibe to him. And so, yeah, I'm a, I'm a huge fan of that shirt. And you know, the pink is definitely a Valentine's Day color. And then I am wearing a, a sort of silky bomber jacket and it is a burgundy color. I'm a big fan of burgundy as a color. It has some zippers on the sleeves, kind of a nice little accent. And so, yeah. Nice jacket, and the pants are just some basic jeans. Got some little tears on them. They have more of a gray tone than the typical blue jean um, vibe. So yeah, those are pretty nice as well. The shoes are one of my favorite pair of shoes ever. This whole video has had a lot of my uh, favorite shoes in it. These are a pair of Adidas Stan Smith, and they are in a copper patent leather style. These were a limited edition release to some sort of like brewery pack. It's a really weird little promotion, but they had some really cool styles going on for it. So yeah, these are just such a cool, such a cool sneaker. I am a huge fan of them. You guys know I love anything shiny or patent leather. So these are like, it's like right up my alley. So yeah, I was gonna go, so with the Pink Panther, I was like, oh, I should find like a pink pair of shoes. But the only pink pair of shoes I have are a pair of Adidas Superstars and they've got more of an Easter vibe going on so they really wouldn't have worked. And I didn't want to go with red because it didn't really work well with the upper half. So I was like, these brewery, these brewery Stan Smith shoes work very well. So yeah, this is, this is a favorite of mine for sure. Okay, so for the fourth and final Valentine's Day look here tonight, this one, if I'm being totally honest, this is probably not my favorite ensemble of the video, but I like this one. This is, I'm really cozy right now. It's like the perfect warmth. I like that the pants are tighter around the, uh, you know, ankle area, the lower half. I really don't like baggy or pants down there. So these fit really good. There's enough crotch room going on. Uh, so anyways, this is it. Enough about talking about my crotch. Let's talk about the outfit. Um, <laughs> These pants are a pair of uh, leather pants, which I've become a huge fan of lately. I bought a whole bunch of them. By the way, I'm doing another style video where I try on vinyl, PVC, and leather clothing. Stay tuned to that for that. That's going to be pretty kinky. But these are, so the pants I'm a little bit, I don't know about because they have this red accent, which is cool. But now that I own them and I tried them on, I feel like they give off kind of like biker vibes, like motorcycle vibes, which I'm not really about. That's not my style, but I don't know, maybe I'm imagining things. They're, they're pretty cool though. I like them. Um, and like I said, they're pretty cozy. The pullover hoodie here is really neat. It's got a lot of stuff going on. Of course, it has a lot of red in it. Like I said, we're doing a lot of red for the Valentine's Day style. It's got a nice pocket with some random gibberish on it. I'm a big fan of random gibberish on my clothing, I guess. And by the way, usually I do not like the pullover hoodies because I feel like they choke me. This is one of the few ones that I own that is actually really cozy. It, it, it moves, it doesn't choke me. So yeah, this is one of my favorite pullover hoodies. And I think this is legitimately like only the second time I've worn it. So I should wear this more often. But yeah, this is sort of a more darker, uh, more contrast look, a lot more black in this style. And of course, you guys know me, I'm all about the shoes. So uh, I am wearing a pair of Maison Martin Margiela's. This is the replica style 
I have no idea why these are called replica. I don't know, but whatever. Uh, these are really cool. I actually love these. They have a really super high glossy look to them and they kind of have a little bit of a cherry vibe going on with their color scheme. But yeah, and I really like the toes. I really like how the toe is designed there. Good stuff going on. So yeah, this is the uh, last Valentine's Day outfit. And I don't know, not my favorite, but I think it's, I think it's still pretty cool. And I put a hat on just to kind of take some of the black from the outfit and bring it up to the top of my head. But uh, other than that, yeah. It's a nice cozy Valentine's Day get up and uh, yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys have had fun here today dressing up in Valentine's Day style with me. Uh, I had a lot of fun putting these looks together. I really haven't done anywhere near enough style videos at JT Shine, uh, so I'd like to do more. I actually, little spoiler alert, or a little preview if you will, I am doing a all vinyl PVC leather style vlog very soon, later this month or early March, probably later this month, and uh, it's gonna be pretty kinky, pretty sexy, President Trump agrees, apparently. So yeah, look forward to the uh, vinyl PVC men's style video. I'm, like I said, I'm very excited for that video. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. Happy Valentine's Day. Even if you're single, who cares? I mean, love yourself. Go have yourself a nice little, little dinner and then jump into a bubble bath. Maybe have a little bit of wine or something like that. I don't know. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys real soon. See you next time.